Hello, I'm Craig Brody, technology trainer, and I'd like to demonstrate in this short video a couple commands that are going to be part of the full-length webcast called Excel Basics for Lawyers. Excel can do many things. It can track costs, court dates, billable time, can be a very useful tool in the legal profession, even serve as a database to manage client information. So here I'm now in the spreadsheet called Fundamentals. That is also known as a tab or worksheet. And I'd like to track the number of hours that were spent by administrative staff on the Smith case. Now I can clearly see that the column need to be widened to show the titles and the data. So I can automatically do that by placing my pointer between columns a and B and double click will widen it. Same thing for B. Double click C and so forth. There's another black cross that's very useful in Excel. If I put my pointer in the lower right corner, this is known as a cell. I'm in cell A4 and I've typed already January. Rather than type the successive months, I can use this black cross to automatically fill the titles down so I can see the six months. Now, Excel is all about numbers, and I put some numbers in. These are number of hours, but I do know that April through June for a miscellaneous task was the same number of hours as March. So I can use that automatic fill to fill numbers too. And it can be used to fill formulas. So our first formula here is to sum up the number of hours to prepare court documents. I can go to Auto Sum, which is under the Home tab, and click it, and will automatically type my Excel formula to sum up the number of hours in this range of cells, B4 through B9. I can simply enter it here, and I see I have 66 hours. Now, rather than sum up column C that way, and suppose I had 20 columns to add up, I can use the black cross to copy and paste this formula over to the right. So I'll pick it up again and drag it over, and I'll even drag it one more time. So I have the total for C and D. And then this formula here will automatically update once these totals are in place. How do I sum up rows? The same way. I'm in D4, and I'd like to know the total hours administrative task uh, staff put in for January. So I'll click D4, click Auto Sum. There is the sum. Enter it. Sum formula. Result. 25, drag it down to copy the formulas down for each successive row. Notice the grand total of hours now updates to 117. And then I have my table. All I need to do is format it a little bit. I'll highlight my headers and make them bold and center. These are buttons that you'll find under the Home tab. Even place a a border underneath it, a thick bottom border, let's say, and finally to center and merge this title, I'll select these four cells and click Merge and Center. So I have a nice appearance at this point. I can save the file, print it, and I have my table done. So this was one uh, set of topics the fundamentals that uh, are going to be covered in the Excel Basics for Lawyers. There's a lot more, and uh, I hope you uh, learn a lot about Excel. It's a great tool. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.